Hi everybody, Susan Kier here at Kier Aquatics and I'm headed over to a brand new fish club in Philadelphia. Well, it's not brand new. It started in March. Let's go check it out. So this is very exciting. We're at the My Philly Aquarium Club in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And they just started a fish club about a year ago. March, I think they said. I'm stoked. So if you're interested, right now the meetings are the last Thursday of the month. And it's on Frankfurt Avenue. What's the number? 4442? Yes. Yeah, I think 4442 Frankfurt Avenue. Come check us out. We start at 7 o'clock. We got speaker. Then we got auction. Come check it out. Bring your fish, too, for the auction. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey everybody, check hey. the wagon! How's the bucket? How are you? So where are we tonight? We are at St. Mark's Church in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And what are we doing here? We are having a My Philly Aquarium Club fish meeting. That's right, <laughs> trying to get a fish club off the ground, off right? Off the ground. How many times have you met so far? Um, I can say that I've been to about four or five meetings since March. This is my first and I'm stoked. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have more on what's going on at the club in a few minutes. Yep. Check it out. Hey, Susie. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> so look who I found. Up, what? <laughs> hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and I'm with Ray Cooper. <laughs> Cooper Sicklitz, y'all. Cooper Sicklitz, check him out. So how long have you been keeping fish? All my life, but on this scale, like three years. Oh, wow. What do you yeah. mean by on this scale? What is your scale? I call a scale anything over 10 times. <laughs> I got a scale going on, too. Yeah, see, I watch you. I watch so you Ray's going to come to my scales yes. and check it out, right? Yeah. And you're going to come over to my scales. I love it. Yes. I love it. So I've been keeping fish for maybe a year and a half. I've been following you since you've been... Oh. Yep. That warms my heart. And this is a cold room, let me tell you. Well, I'm glad it's warm. So have you come to this fish club in the past? Yes, this is my, I'm a home, one of the members here. So if there's anything that you could tell fish keepers, especially new fish keepers, what would you tell them? What would I tell them? Mm -hmm. Keep your water changed and feed your fish. But check them heaters during the winter. Good, good suggestion. I actually have to go change my water tonight, so. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take that suggestion. I actually throw all my heaters away or sell them and buy new ones. Really? I didn't have one fail. Like it or not? I didn't have one fail on me before. I don't care. Oh. I got some of the best in there, but after a while, you know, your heaters go down and you don't. What check happened them. with your heater when it failed? Actually, uh, I don't know. I just turned around and the whole basement was full of smoke. Oh my God. You know what it was? I was doing a water change. Half, it wasn't one of the heaters that I deal with now because the ones I deal with now, when the water dropped, the heater cut off. Oh, nice. Yeah. But yours didn't shut off? Not the one I had because it was an old one. Oh, my. And this much of it was sticking out of the uh, water, about three inches, and it had a heater guard on it as the... Uh, as the um, it kept heating and heating, wasn't no water there, and wasn't nothing but the plastic. The plastic set on fire wow. in the tank. Thank God it was in the tank and it right. was that much water in it. That's what I gotta get. Because I tend to forget, I, I, I don't have a really good attention span. Right. So when I'm changing water. Of course, me too, because I got so many tanks, I'm all over the place when I'm in the well, I don't blame it from the tanks, because I yeah. can't, because then it's like maybe I got too many tanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, which I don't. I just do too much at once. <laughs> Yeah, that's I got what I, do. I got a schedule now, but it, it works yeah. like clockwork. Yeah. Yeah, but if I get thrown off like with a phone call or something, forget what I'm doing the way I'm at, it's just a wrap. All right, cool. I think What's we're something? about to do some business at this meeting. Oh. Catch you guys Stay later. Stay tuned. I got a door prize. This is not the reason to come to a fish club, but I got a door prize. <laughs> <laughs> Marble door prize. Yes. And this baby's going to pair up with one of mine. I just know it. Look how beautiful. Oh, I feel so blessed. 4K landing. Thank you. Now you can't tell male or female. That's a male. It's what? It's a male. It's a male. Why can you tell? You, well, Look this is full grown. See the hump yeah. over his head? Yeah. You usually get that hump yeah. And then when the vent comes down, that's what you can tell. But that's, oh, he is usually gorgeous. Usually they're bigger. Now this is spin off veil and super veil. Okay. So that's, if you breed it with your fish, you might, you might end up with veil and super veil. 
This is this is his fish. Look at this. No, this ain't my fish. This this they, this belongs to the world. That's God's <laughs> creation. <laughs> He's just allowing us to be the care. He's allowing us to be the care. Amen. That's right, sister. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, you enjoy that. Thank you. Wait a minute. No, thank you. I will enjoy hey. this. Let me tell you. No, thank you. So if you guys are in the Philadelphia area. Come on down to my Philly Aquarium Club <laughs> here at St. Mark's Church on Frankfurt Avenue. The last Thursday of the month? Yes. The last Thursday of the month. So yes. come on down and check out a brand new fish club. Support a fish club. Yes, my Philly Aquarium Club. My Philly Aquarium Club. Check us out on Facebook. Instagram too soon. Ooh, somebody's got to... We're going to make a YouTube page soon. <laughs>